Mr. Jedranko Makvik from Croatia. He is Yoga Chare, Yoga and Ayurvedic Therapist, Teacher of Transcendental Meditation and Maharishi's Vedic Science. Manoshadi Bishagacharya, a herbal scientist, president of Institute of Yoga and Ayurveda. He teaches yoga in Europe, America, India and China. He gained knowledge about yoga from Maharishi Mahesh Yogi A.G. Mohan, direct disciple of Shri T. Krishnacharya, Maharishi Swami Devi Dev Murti Yogacharya, Dr. Mukund Bhole. He wrote six books about yoga. Also, he has experience with the application of yoga and Ayurveda to sports, tennis, football, driver, judo, volleyball, etc. For teaching yoga, Jadranko is cooperating with Maharishi Academy for Vedashi Vinshan Craft, Bharaji Desai National Institute of Yoga, India, Bharatiya Vidyapi Deemed University, European Yoga Federation and World Movement for Yoga and Ayurveda. So, um, dear friends, which um, uh, you are participating on this um, conference, uh, I would like to share um, some of um, my knowledge related to the spirituality and uh, and uh, the thoughts, the thinking process, how it is related. So we know that um, spirituality is um, very highly ranked uh, um, level of the aim of our life to live the spiritual life. And what does it mean in that sense? So in that way, we can uh, take recourse to the ancient science of yoga because there is nothing new under the sun. So there is already knowledge there, which was revealed by the rishis, maharishis, about the aim of life, about spirituality, and how to live spirituality in our life. And one great Maharishi, Patanjali, he explained that uh, very clearly what is spirituality, uh, the, the spirit or consciousness. When we come to that uh, value, and he says, Yoga, Chitta, Vritti, Nirodha. So different thoughts. If we relate spirituality to the thinking, so all kind of thoughts are in that category of the Vrittis, or they are some kind of our content of our field of our individual consciousness of our Chitta. <clears throat> and um, the life of Chitta, when it becomes spiritual, or where, or where it is materialistic more, <clears throat> or our individual life, when it becomes spiritual or materialistic, Patanjali says, Vritti, so yoga, Chitta, Vritti, Nirodha. So when you achieve the state of Nirodha, the state beyond thinking, then this is the state of pure spirituality. So this is relation of the spirituality and the thinking and the thoughts. So the, the spirituality is beyond thoughts. The pure field of spirituality, tada drashtuh svarupe avasthana, then the seer is established in his true nature, which is the state of the pure spirituality. So in that sense, we need to realize and recognize uh, the true meaning of spirituality, which is different than uh, what commonly uh, we are thinking that this is related with some specific way of life. So the spirituality is not marked by any specific way of life, 
whether you are living alone as a hermit or as a monk or a recluse, or you are living in the society as a family person, uh, doesn't mean that uh, you are a spiritual person. Or whatever cloth you are wearing, whatever is your outer appearance, doesn't mean that you are a spiritual person. So this is what Lord Krishna says to Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita when Arjuna is asking Lord Krishna, Krishna what is the sign of a true spiritual person or enlightened person. This is the inner condition in which you realize your true nature that uh, you are that your essential nature is that field of uni uh, universal consciousness, the source of all, uh, which is the source of all vrittis, we can say, which is beyond the vrittis. It has its own vrittis. Even it is a universal pure consciousness, it has its own vrittis because it is conscious of itself and it has self-referral vrittis which are the those vrittis of pure consciousness are the unmanifest uh, thinking of pure consciousness which is fully in accord with all the uh, total intelligence and the nature of that pure consciousness, which, which is Sachit Ananda. So those vrittis of the state of pure consciousness are expressed in the values of Yama, Niyama, and all the aspects of the teaching of the Vedas and Yoga and all other aspects. So these are the vrittis of the state of pure consciousness, when pure consciousness is conscious of itself. In that sense, the rishis cognized those vrittis of the state of pure consciousness, <coughs> which uh, karma mimamsa uttara mimamsa is um, elaborating after the experiencing the state of yoga. When you experience the state of yoga or samadhi, then in, in samadhi you find the principles of uh, Jnana Shakti, Kriya Shakti, that self-referral activity, internal activity, which are the vrittis of the state of pure consciousness. And they are expressed as the sounds of the Veda. And they have their own meaning. As in yoga, we have the basic qualities of that state of Sachit Ananda expressed in the qualities of Yama, and niyamas. So we can say those vrittis, those thoughts or thinking, these are unmanifest thoughts, but still they are there, <coughs> are spiritual thoughts. They belong to spirituality because they are completely in, in tune with the nature of the source of life, which is the bliss consciousness. And uh, this is the highest uh, approach to spirituality, is to know your own self. To realize tada drashtuk svarupe avastanam, our true nature. Then uh, the thinking, our thinking in our daily life, what we, whatever we are doing, doesn't matter will become in accord with the principles of Yama and Niyama. And this is the uh, ex expression of spirituality in our everyday life. When, you, when we have uh, such kind of uh, thinking and the thoughts to support others, not to do violence to anybody, not to cheat anybody, not to steal from anybody, living purity of life, living um, uh, life devoted with a surrender to that cosmic intelligence which guides the life of the whole universe to the Ishvara. 
then this becomes a natural consequence. And we are living spiritual life. But in the case, if we <clears throat> uh, if we are not able to have that experience of Tada Drashtok Swarupe Vasana, and we are just caught up in different thinkings, and we don't know our true nature, and we are in the state of Vriti Sarupyam. It means that we, we are um, identified with the thoughts. We are not anymore self-referral, having experience, but object referral in relation to the different objects in the form of different thoughts. Then we are not anymore um, in that um, uh, spiritual, pure spiritual state. Then, depending on the nature of the thoughts, we become influenced by the nature of those thoughts and those vrittis. And Patanjali says there are basically five kinds of vrittis related to the, our different experiences in the waking state of consciousness, dreaming or sleeping or, or uh, imagining or vikalpa or... Um, so the knowledge can be of the proper value, unproper value and many different kind of uh, um, thoughts, understandings we can have. These are all different kind of the vrittis. And some can be klishta, some aklishta. Some vrittis can be klishta means they are um, creating discomfort and um, or the pain. Uh, the suffering, dukkha, and klishta, aklishta is resulting in sukha. <clears throat> the ka is the central part of the wheel, ka, um, and uh, where you put the um, <clears throat> egg. Axis, uh, axis uh, uh, to that central part of the wheel, which is then uh, uh, making uh, wheel to rotate. And uh, uh, do means not well fixed, uh, so that the axis is not well fixed with the center of the of the wheel. And then there is a uh, tearing and all kind of uh, problem for the wheel rotation and. Uh, causing uh, uh, suffering. So the dukkha means not being well fixed and sukha means being well fixed. <clears throat> and who is fixing, fixing with what? So uh, the different kind of thoughts which are not uh, well fixed with the principles of yama. <laughs> or niyama, they belong to the klishta category and creating dukkha. And those kind of our thinking or thoughts, which are well fixed and in accord with the principles of yama and niyama, they are creating sukha and expansion of consciousness and uh, joy in life and positive values. And this is the spiritual life in relation to that kind of thinking. So, if our thoughts are <clears throat> uh, in accordance with the principles of Yama and Niyama, then uh, we are living spiritual life on the level of the thinking, which is the basis of our speaking and doing. So then uh, we can say there is a, that kind of relation of living spiritual. But if in that case we are not having such thoughts, but we have uh, different thoughts which are klishta category and they are explained, Patanjali explains in the second chapter about kleshas, which are based on the kleshas, the thoughts which are based on the kleshas, <coughs> like uh, avidya, ignorance, asmita, that ego, hmm? and uh, raga, hmm? uh, 
the craving, uh, desiring and dvesha, uh, repulsion or hatred and abhinivesha, the, the fear for life, the urge of survival. So in that sense, if those kind of thoughts are there, then how to um, live spiritual life? Patanjali says, Pratipaksha Bhavanam, Vitarka, bad, vitarka Badhane Pratipaksha Bhavanam. If you become aware of such thoughts in your consciousness, then you should think that which are the thoughts which are opposite to the principles of Yama Niyama. Then you should, by your will, think the opposite thoughts. You should turn. You should turn in your consciousness immediately to recall the principles of Yama and Niyama to which those thoughts are opposite and then cherish the, the value of Yama and Niyama in your thinking in that relation, in that situation. And this is creating transformation of your consciousness into the spiritual value. So <clears throat> this is then living spirituality um, in the practical life, everyday life. So I think um, if uh, there is some more time or I <coughs> I need to conclude huh, about uh, this. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Jadrangoji. I try yes, to keep it short, <laughs> yes. basic about <laughs> spirituality and thinking. Jadrangoji, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I was sincerely listening to your discourse and uh, as you you uh, put it from uh, Patanjali Yoga Sutra Chitta Sivrati Niroda, you mentioned about how Lord Krishna also says that your true nature is universal consciousness. You mentioned if you follow Yama and Niyamas, then the thoughts will be a cluster, and otherwise it will be Vratti Swarup state, as you mentioned. You also rightly translated it in terms of self referral or the object referral. And uh, as a remedy, you mentioned about the importance of Pratipaksha Bhavana. I'm sure that uh, audience will develop this Pratipaksha Bhavana whenever they get a klishta thoughts. And they, we will follow yamas and niyamas to avoid kleshas in life and gradually going to higher limbs of Yoga Sutra. Highly blessed with your presence, Jedrankoji. Thank you very much for all the love and affection. And Thank you very much, everybody. Namaste. On behalf of United Consciousness, I thank Mr. Jedranko Meklik for coming onto the platform of United Consciousness. Thank you so much.